Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here, my name is Shannon. Thanks so much for stopping by. I hope by the end of the video, you might consider subscribing and ringing the notification bell. I'd love to see you here next time. So today's video is, as promised, my lash tutorial. So I'm gonna be teaching you um, exactly how I trim and apply my lashes in this video. So I hope you guys find this helpful. I did just recently upload my lash tips video. Um, just talking about what lashes I think are best for beginners and just tips and tricks that I have learned along the way. So in today's video, we're going to take it one step further. And today we are going to be working with this pack of Salon Perfect 614s. Um, I featured these in that prior video as great starter lashes because they have a really tiny skinny lash band and so these are also really really affordable you can find them at walmart that's where i pick up mine i believe they are nine dollars and you get five sets of lashes so this is what they look like outside of that packaging and so to remove them i'm just going to take my thumb here and i'm just going to pull down kind of focusing on just loosening that tacky little tacky stuff that they put down to kind of keep the lashes on display so you want to be kind of gentle when doing this um, and then once I get it sort of removed and loose I'll just kind of pull it from that point so I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing to the other side just to get these good and loose you can also tell which side is which because as you can see these taper they get fluffier at the outer edge and this is your inner corner it's much um, much shorter the, the length of the lash. So I'm just kind of slowly loosening these up. I'll be honest, you guys, the reason that I wear a set of lashes until they literally fall apart is because I hate trimming them down and I also love it when my lashes are broken in because it just makes it so much easier to apply them. So as you can see, this lash is far too big for my eyes. So what I'll do is I'll just sort of set that lash right on my lash line and just kind of measure it out. So just, let me get my mirror closer here. So just from there, I would say that I need to trim off. I usually try to trim and I have these little handy dandy brow scissors that we talked about. I'll usually try to trim like a group of lashes. Um, I know it's kind of hard to see, but that very last, this little teeny bit right here is what I'm gonna trim off. And I'm basically going to snip from obviously the outer corner and I'm just gonna snip that trio off and that should be good. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing to the other lash. the other side I'm just snipping really easily just snipping that trio that last little trio see and there it is so once that's gone I like to just kind of again set them back down on my lash line just to make sure we're good to go this is gonna make things much more comfortable also, ladies. Um, if your lashes are too long, that's when you get the poking in the inner corner. It makes it really uncomfortable. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my Kiss Strip Lash, Lash Adhesive. And I love this one because number one, it's latex free. It never bothers my eyes. It has this awesome little brush tip applicator. And I'm just gonna go ahead and apply a thin layer of glue just down that lash band. Um, and I'll kind of show you how much glue I've applied. My, my glue is getting low, so kind of takes me a couple dips. This band is also really thin, so you really don't need much glue, ladies. You really don't. And then I'll take an extra little dobble on the inner and outer corner just to further... ensure that the inner and outer corner stick down. So that's how much glue I've applied. As you can see, it's just a thin layer, nothing crazy. And this is going to be this eye. And I can tell because the lash is shorter on this side. So that's how I know that this is my left eye. 
So I usually will just give it a second to kind of dry down. Um, normally this is my last step, so I'll like apply my lower lash mascara. Like I'll try to do something in the meantime to try to, you know, just keep things flowing along. But for the sake of the video, I'm just gonna chat with you guys. Um, I've had a few questions on tutorials, you guys, and I do have a brow tutorial coming. So stay tuned for that. I have my brow tips and tricks as well. That will go up first and then I will do um, my brow tutorial, kind of in the same style that I did this video. I just feel like it helps keep things a little bit shorter too so you guys don't have like a super long video com um, to watch, you know? Um, just breaking it down into separate videos. So right now the glue is ready. I don't know if you can tell but it starts to turn sort of like a bluish color. So you really don't have to wait a long time with this glue. Another reason I like it. Also with a fresh pair of lashes, if you just kind of fold them into each other and kind of roll them back and forth, it will help kind of create, it just makes them a little less um, awkward, I guess. Kind of creates more of that shape of your eye just by doing that. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just going to, with my fingers, you can use tweezers, whatever you feel comfortable with. I feel like I have more control when I use my fingers and I'm just gonna go ahead and set that lash down right in the center of my eye. Just like that. So once you get it set down, then I'll go ahead and start working on my corners. I really need a mirror. Pop this guy out so I can see what I'm doing and you can see too. So I'm just gonna take that outer corner first and just sort of push it down. And then I'll take the inner corner and do the same thing. Once I get it down, I'm just going to close my eye and then I'll just sort of push against the actual band up to my lash line. And that's it, you guys. That is it. So really the key is trimming your lashes and also giving that glue time to dry down. That is such a huge part of applying false lashes. And I think it's the hardest part, to be honest, like in terms of getting used to, just making sure you give those lashes enough time or the glue enough time to dry. So again, I'm just applying some glue, the thinner the layer, um, the quicker it will take to dry down also. Um, when I first started with lashes, I was using duo glue and I found it really difficult to begin wearing lashes using duo glue. Everybody talks about duo glue and I'm not sure if it's because it's so readily available, um, but I found it to be more complicated than this Kiss Glue because of the fact that it takes so long to dry down and when you're beginning, Knowing when the glue is ready is 90% of the battle. Um, also, make sure you're using, you know, lashes that are easy to work with. Um, so, and then getting these multi-packs is awesome because you have several pairs to practice with. So I always recommend getting multi-packs when you are practicing. Um, stay away from the super cheap lashes. Even though you're practicing, you might think, oh, well, I'll just get something super cheap so that, you know, if I mess them up, it's no big deal. I didn't lose a lot of money. Um, but the problem is the super cheap lashes are usually really, really difficult to work with, and you're just better off getting a multi pack of affordable lashes. So again, we're just letting this glue dry down. I'm going to go ahead and wiggle it back and forth. Now, on the I would say the third time you wear that set of lashes, it's really gonna take on the shape of your eye. It's gonna pretty much custom fit to your the shape of your eye. So as I explained in the tips video, it becomes like a good pair of shoes. And um, you're, you'll break them in and it gets easier and easier each time you wear that set of lashes. Another reason why I hate starting a new set of lashes. So again, I'm just gonna just set it in 
just get it on the lash line. You want it to be as close to the lash line as possible without being on your actual lashes. I'm gonna go ahead and work that outer corner down. And then the inner. And then I'll go ahead and close my eye a little bit. Pushing against that lash band just to make sure that the entire band has been, you know, adhered to my, my eye. So that's what it looks like when they're on. They're really pretty. They're really wispy. Um, they're going to seem very dramatic to you because you're going to not be used to seeing yourself in false lashes. And so that's pretty much it. Um, you'll see me kind of periodically, if you watch my lives, I'll just sort of periodically, as the glue is drying down, I'll just sort of tap that lash band a couple times just to make sure, especially in the inner corner, because that's where you would have issues the most, is in the inner corner. You can, at this time, while they're kind of drying down, of course, do other things. You could line your um, upper waterline to help fuse them together, but these, these sit pretty seamlessly, and also these lashes work beautifully without false, um, or without liquid liner, too. So if you're not great with liquid liner yet, you could always use these um, just without liquid liner and or gel liner, whatever winged liner. Um, and it's gonna, they're gonna look natural, as natural as possible for false lashes. I should disclaim, right? Um, okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull out a mascara. Honestly, any mascara will do. And this is why I don't get like, you know, when people ask about recommendations for mascara, it's kind of hard for me to really and truly recommend a mascara because quite honestly, I wear false lashes so often that I just, I, it doesn't really matter. You know, you're just kind of fusing the two together. So today I'm gonna be using Bad Gal Bang for the sake of the fact that uh, I'm literally just trying to get through this mascara, which by the way, I don't recommend purchasing. I don't care for it. Um, okay, so I'm gonna start with the eye that has already dried down and you will know when the glue is dry. Like you're gonna start to feel the lash sort of tighten up on your eye and that's the glue drying down. And I'm just literally blinking and that's all I'm gonna do. Just by kind of blinking into that mascara you're gonna coat your actual lashes I don't have much for lashes to coat so that makes it a bit easier but the less mascara you go in with instead of like dragging it all the way up through the lashes the longer you'll be able to use your false lashes because you're not coating them with a ton of mascara now you can obviously clean your lashes um, I talked about that in my tips video and how to do so but you know if it's not necessary to coat the entire lash don't I mean these are voluminous on their own that little bit of mascara just sort of um, ties it all together and the reason that I don't like to line my waterline is because I don't like the black eyeliner to transfer to my lower waterline because I typically do a colored liner like I did today I used Urban Decay's all no uh, the alkaline so I didn't want I don't want black to mix in with that so that's it you guys I hope that was helpful I I know it looks so easy when other people do it because you know they've had time to practice and they just feel comfortable but honestly you'll get the hang of it just be patient trim your lashes down that is such a huge part of it and honestly this is what really made applying lashes so much easier for me um even after i had been applying lashes for a while i just felt like the duo glue made it more difficult so try this kiss strip lash adhesive you can find it at cbs walgreens walmart um i'm sorry i don't know if cbs carries it but i know walgreens does and i know walmart does 
and I and Ulta I think it's like three dollars you guys it's super affordable and it really is an amazing lash glue I don't know why I don't hear more people talk about it I don't know why duo glue is so raved about because I feel like it's misleading to those of you that are new with lashes because it is ten times harder to do your lashes with duo glue promise promise you so anyways, I hope you guys found this helpful. I will see you all in the next video. Have a wonderful day. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time guys. Bye.